Yo, what's going on, you floppy ear for the baby? Today we're playing some games with ADPization. I know I already brought you guys a video on ADPization, but I've made some adjustments to my list, so I thought I'd bring you an updated build on the deck. Um, yeah, not a whole ton of change. I'm rocking Pokemon catchers. Um, up to a third Zation, trying that out. I've cut down to three Aurora energy. I still got the Guzma and Hala engine in here with some tag calls. Uh, I got a Vitality Band, uh, a Big Charm, um, no Shrine. I got the Swell. Uh, I've got a one of Zigzagoon um, to make up for some damage. Also, Searchable by Quick Ball, which is why I really like the Zigzagoon. Um, got a Skarmory in here over the Zapdos um, because it can be a little bit easier to set up or like more efficient to set up. Like the Zapdos required an Aurora Energy, which I did cut by one. So this guy can go Metal Patch, Metal Patch, or Metal Patch Attach uh, with a basic metal instead of the Aurora energy. So it makes him a little bit better, I feel like. I've been like I've been digging the Skarmory. He also hits for 120, which knocks out a Baby Blicephalon, which is one of his most relevant matchups to be utilized in. So yeah, I've been liking the Skarmory. It's been pretty cool. The rest of the list is very similar to what I brought you guys before. But yeah, updated list. Just wanted to come at you guys with it. Keep you in the loop. Let's go ahead, let's play some games. All right, we're getting into one here. We do wanna be going first with this deck. They win the coin flip. We'll choose to go first. Turn two ADP GX attacks. We'll go, ooh, super good hand. We're gonna open the Jirachi. We got the Guzman Hala to get the Rainbow Energy. Uh, Stadium, Chaotic Swell, slow down, our, slow down whatever our opponent's up to. And then also get the uh, Skateboard. Got the Quick Ball to actually get the ADP. Might look for a tag call off this Stellar Wish. I think that's definitely what we're gonna look for here is a tag call. Give us some more fodder to work with, okay. Still I wish. There's the Chaotic Swell. We're going to get that off of the uh, one Hala, so we don't need to do that. All right, I'm going to go. Oh, we're going to do that next turn. So first, we just have to Quick Ball. Can I Quick Ball away this Professor's Research, I think? We'll have this. We're going to draw three cards off that. Okay, yeah. Quick Ball away Professor's Research. I want to keep the other Quick Ball around. Quick Ball is a super good versatile guard. Versatile card at finding us cards. It's pretty good. Take the ADP. Um... This guy goes down, this guy goes down. I'm not gonna quick ball for anything yet. Don't really know what I want yet. And then a sword here. Um, yeah, attach the metal. Draw the other two cards. The other ADP becomes fodder for the Guzman Hala. Stamp is good after they knock out our ADP. We're in a pretty good spot here. See if our opponent even gets the turn one full blitz. A lot of Pikaron builds these days are not equipped to go for the turn one full blitz. Um, they do try to. Um, like if they can, but the lists are not really built around going for turn one full blitz So they usually do in turn two full blitz usually very consistently getting a turn two full blitz But uh, I feel like the power of the turn one full blitz is definitely something that peek around builds should be aiming for I feel like there's no reason like now that we've got quick ball. We can easily find Coco prism We got stadium to have to find thunder mountain Why not just play for a turn one full blitz and fully abuse all the tools that peek has available? Uh, pretty good Turn good looking at turn one from our opponent though. They got the dead change, they got the one lightning in the discard pile, they got the lightning to the active. They did not go for the Pokemon catcher. That's um I think definitely a like there's no reason not to bring this ADP into the active. Don't let me use Stellar Wish again. Uh maybe you get the turn one full blitz. You get to punch my ADP ahead of time. There's no way you one shot ADP or very unlike it's very hard to one shot an ADP as Pikaram. Um until after you full blitzed. So yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't just bring this up here. Uh, even after you full blitz, it's hard to get the one shot. It's like a little like the like a turn after the turn you full blitz is when one shot in ADP becomes a possibility. I feel like, but it's hard. It's hard to one shot in ADP as Pika Rob. Don't see a reason for them not to have brought this guy into the active. But all right, teach your own. We'll see what else happens here. We're gonna look to go. Yeah, get the Aurora Energy off the Guzman Hala. Get ourselves the Escape Board if we don't. We want the Big Charm. So we're gonna Stellar Wish first and see what Stellar Wish gives us. Ooh, Vitality Bands. Hmm, I wonder what math that change for P changes for Pikaram. I've been liking the Big Charms and Pikaram myself, um, but I could understand Vitality Band. What? 160, 220 with two E powers does get the knockout on Zations. That is kind of cool. Uh, but keeping yourself alive against Zation, I feel like it's a little bit more important with the Big Charm. Because Zation, with the ADP buff, you're doing 260. That one shots a Pikaram. I think it's better to have the uh, the big charm to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, quick ball. Second Electro Charger. This man is trying to one-shot everything. All right, this is a pretty aggressive build as far as damage goes. We'll see how aggressive it is as far as getting the turn one full blitz goes. They do have the two lightning in the discard pile, but they've used their data change. They've used their draw supporter for the turn. So they're going to need, like, Thunder Mountain, 
I think E switch, E switch, or Thunder Mountain E switch in the hand right here. Uh, that will get them it. That will get them that turn one full blitz. That'll be a lot of pressure onto us early on. We'll see how we can cope. Um, but yeah, they'll need uh, they'll need quite a bit. We'll see if they got it. There it is, Dance of the Ancients. Like I said, Thunder Mountain E switch or E switch, E switch will get them that turn one full blitz. And that's definitely what they're looking for. There's no reason they wouldn't want a turn one full blitz. Um, go in second. Go in first. You don't really need to get three energy on the peak around. Doesn't do a whole lot. Just sit there and pass. On to the Dedenne, so that makes me think they have an E-Switch, because otherwise there's no reason to have the energy not on the Coco. Um, so this definitely makes me think they have at least one E-Switch. Now they're using the Pokemon Catcher. Okay, the, ooh, and they're bringing up our Zacian. Uh, they're getting aggressive. What, what's going on here? This is... Uh... Now, now I think they're trying to stall. Now I think they're trying to stall. They don't want me to get into the ADP, taking away this. They should have used this Pokemon ca this Pokemon Catcher. There's no reason to have not used this Pokemon Catcher, though, I don't think. I can't come up with a reason to have not have. If you get the turn one full blitz, you want to hit this. I guess it helps me if this is in the active. All right, now they're playing like they do have turn one full blitz. Oh, they have that. They're going to go with that spike draw. Okay, the spike draw for 20 on the Zacian. I was getting super confused there. I guess that's okay. Not the worst thing ever. Um, so we need to get the energy as well as an escape board to move our active in this. Get that swell. Keep our, Get our opponent's Thunder Mountain out of play. Do not want them to have that. Skateboard. I think I'm going to give up the quick ball here. Hmm. Or energy. Oof. Nah, we're going to keep the quick ball. Give the stamp. We have another stamp left. We can work with that. Retreat. And, yeah, alter creation. We actually might go for a great catcher on a Dedenne next turn. Because our goal, our plan can be to go... Uh, ultimate Ray, knock something out into just Zacian, knock out anything, game over. So that's going to be our game plan. So we may as well utilize that Ultimate Ray and actually chase down this Dedenne, knock him out next turn with the Ultimate Ray, and then load up a Zacian and be like, all right, you got to deal with this guy now. Maybe they go for the one shot here. That's two E-Power. They're an E-Power short of Tag Bolt for the knockout. It looks like that's what they're going for. Can If they get four E-Power... They can knock us out with full blitz with four E power. So that might be actually what they're going for here is four E power. Well, I mean, if they hit it, there's no reason not to do it. They're two E power in right now. They also play shrine. So that helps them out more with damage as well. Super interesting list from our opponent. Super damage heavy list from our opponent. Trying to take these big one shots is definitely in their game plan. So they're looking for two E power, but with one E power, they can actually just knock us out with Tag Bolt if they want to, which doesn't let us Ultimate Ray, which is very relevant um, for sure. There's the E switch, gonna full blitz at the very least. Could go with the uh, Tag Bolt if they have another E power. We'll wait and see here. Gonna shorten E power. If it's just the full blitz, we're chilling, we're cooling. That is that is ideally what happens, it's just a full blitz here. We don't actually get blown out of the water with the uh, Tag Bolt. Oh, wait, is that enough? That is enough. They can knock us out with the Tag Bolt. Oh my gosh, the Zigzagoon for more damage. Yeah, their list is ridiculously damage heavy. Two E-Chargers, Shrine, uh, Zigzagoon, Vitality Band. Yeah, they're all about taking the one-shots with the Pikaram, and they're going to do it here. They're going to be able to go Tag Bolt, knock out our active if they want. They don't get the energy in play from the Full Blitz, and they are down with Underground and Coco Prism. So if we get this response knockout, uh, the game is kind of over. So if we can actually knock out this Pikaram, we're looking at Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer, Attach. Uh, yeah, the game is kind of just over. So we're going to send up Jirachi here. And I think I might just go Quick Ball for Dedenne. And then Dede Change. Uh, and just dig for more draw as opposed to what we currently have. Yeah, I think I am. I'm going to go Quick Ball here. Um, no Dedenne. That stinks. All right, so we're going to have to go with Orangaroo. He does offer some more draw power as well himself. Definitely going to have to get... A little bit luckier to pull off this knockout than I would like. Currently only a Metal Saucer short. Ooh, got another switch. We can go again on the Stellar Wish. Switch. Stellar Wish. No Saucer again. No, we're so close. All right, going to get that Tag Call. Going to play the Tag Call thing on the deck. We still have... Oh, nothing to thin out. All right, still have chance on that uh, with the wisdom. If the wisdom gives us any luck here, I'm not holding out hope on this one. We have to get real lucky. It's a Pokemon catcher. Okay, we are in trouble for sure. We're actually going to try and take a knockout here on the Zigzagoon. 
This is why the Skarmory is so good in the deck. Allows us to make plays like this, which uh, keeps us in the game, in the prize race. Um, and we're gonna go with that. Calm Strike, knock out the Zigzagoon, we'll get two prize cards, and now we can go Zacian, knock out Pikaram next turn, and then we still win the game, theoretically, uh, in two turns. If we knock out Pikaram, then knock out anything else, win the game, we do it like this, we also win the game. So that's our game plan now. Knock out that, got the Dedenic to work with now this time, we can Dede change first, draw those extra cards, look for this knockout on this Pikaram with our Zacian. For them, they definitely ideally want to attack with something that is not Pikaram. Literally anything besides Pikaram is what they want to attack with. They want to attack with their aura, the, the Coco, they still want to draw a prize card this turn for sure, but they don't want to attack with Pikaram. Pikaram is not their ideal attacker anymore at all, even close. We'll see what they got there. Yep, here comes, well, here comes the Coco. May as well send him. He's got the free retreat. I guess these guys also got free retreat, so it doesn't make that big of a difference. And we'll see what they're able to uh, to pull off here. Second Tapu Coco V. That seems a little overkill, but uh, I guess they're maybe big fans of Tapu Coco V. He does hit pretty hard with that 200 damage with the Thunderous Bolt, so he's definitely good. Definitely very good. Um, there's an E-switch. Yeah, we'll see what they're trying to set up here. See what they're actually going to go for. Coming to the active, so that makes me think it is going to be a... Th they're looking for that Thunderous Bolt this turn. Um, or maybe they're just trying to... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Thunderous Bolt seems to be the way they want to go. Yeah, but they could have gone attached to Zerora. Let's go to sent up Zerora, attach to Zerora, E-switch off Pikaram, and just hit us with the Plasma Fist, which would have been just as effective. Um, I guess this sets up so that they can KO this. If they have Catcher... Yeah, they have Catcher plus another energy. They can actually knock out my Zacian V, which would be pretty annoying, actually. Yeah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too nice. I'd like to keep him around. We'll see. How many switch do we have left? One switch, one escape board left, I think. Yeah, so a escape board down here. Okay. Plenty of ways to move our Jirachis around. Let's see what our opponent's got here. They need another energy here, or they're going to have to full blitz. They do have to go with the full blitz, it looks like. Definitely not ideal for our opponent. They definitely want to knock me out with something that's not the tag team. That means all I have to do is get the energy on this. I don't also need a gust effect to bring the Pikaram up to win on my turn. All right, it is the full blitz. This also puts metal energy back in our discard pile, which we were lacking, which means now we, if we get the metal saucers, we're looking in pretty good shape here. Loading up the Coco V. I'm actually curious, how much energy do they play? All right, there's none in the discard pile. So they've been pretty efficient with their energy so far. Or been able to be pretty efficient. All right, we're gonna Stellar Wish. Reset stamp, I guess. I'm gonna put the Professor Research on top of the deck. Quick Ball is pretty good. Gonna use that now. Grab a. Huh. Absol doesn't do anything. Fiona doesn't do anything. Jirachi. Uh oh. We prized a. Sw oh no. All right. We prized a switch. And oh, we just can't. We just can't knock out this turn. We just can't attack this turn. It's just not gonna happen. Um. I think we should go ahead and grab another Zacian. Yeah, we're just not attacking this turn with uh, with Zacian. It's just not happening. <laughs> There's no way we pull it off. Um have a gust effect we don't want to put down to Dene because they could play great catcher and then they could great catcher up our to Dene. um so i think we just go with the zation and then just draw cards uh yeah because we prized our fourth switch and our second escape board so i think i'm just gonna grab the zation here uh yes grab zation bench and then sword got a patch got a aurora energy that's some good stuff to find yeah we can't but we just can't uh, yeah we just can't attack that that's kind of stinks that kind of stinks not gonna lie uh i guess i should have just gone for the professor sycamore i didn't know what was prized i didn't check my prize cards check your prize cards guys uh so yeah there's an escape board and a switch in my prize card so there's no way to pull off the attack that turn so just stamp and chill is our line to victory here and yeah we're gonna have to hope it works out we're not in that great of a spot we can put the switch on top of the deck so what we can do is actually we can put the switch on top of the deck dead a change after going to attach metal saucer uh we do need to find a catcher now as well because they will be able to just retreat into tapu coco v we did have three catchers left in the deck i believe our great catcher is unfortunately unfortunately gone so we will need to get a catcher bring the pikaram to the active and then go from there but it's okay we can pull it off still Definitely still possible. They're leaving. Oh, this is definitely a mistake from our opponent. Leaving the Pikaram in the active here for absolutely zero reason. No reason to leave this guy around in the active. That's my win condition is to knock out this uh, this Pikaram. All right. Fine with me, I guess. Uh, to each our own. So on and so forth. Draw. Vitality ban. Sure, why not? 
I'm gonna start with this. We're gonna put the switch on top, see what we get. Another station, not necessary. We also only have one metal patch left. We prize a metal patch as well. And then dead a change. We need that switch, so that's why we put that switch back up there. There's the other metal saucer though. And that should be game switch into the Zation and Brave Blade for the knockout. Looked a little scary there in the beginning. Uh, got it together with the stamp to slow down our opponent in the end. And then there we go. There we go. Switch, Metal Saucer, Escape Board were three of our last four prize cards. Check your prize cards, folks. That's the, the moral of the story. The moral of the story from that game? I don't know. Check your prize cards. All right, back into another one against raid six hit him with that heads Oof, we are going second on this one most likely feels like almost every deck still is choosing to go first um it's a little bit of up and down back and forth when the set first came out but it seems like everyone's basically unanim unanimously unanimously decided it seems like going going second is best or going first is best for most most decks most decks um, i know i like to go second with my own pikaram but looks like we are up against a pikaram here um some people still playing the Zapdos. Should be pretty much confirmed Pikaram with this tag call. There's no reason to play tag call if you're not playing Pikaram. As far as I know. I, I, can't, I can't think of a reason. Um, so we got that Gaddax well, which is super good against Pikaram. Slow down their turn to attack, especially against the tag call builds, which try and take it a little bit slower um, and just get the Thunder Mountain out sometimes through the Guzman Hala. Gaddax well puts a big stop into that, which is super good for us. And the hand is looking all right. It's not ridiculously good. We got the tag call. We'll find the ADP. Get that attachment on it. Depending on our top deck, we might change stuff up like that. Um, now we can go quick ball with this. Get the Zation. Eh, I don't think too much changes actually. Bench Zation, Saucer. Zation, Tag Call, grab our ADP. We're gonna leave both Guzman Hollows in the deck because we do kind of want to find those off of the Sycamore. And then Sycamore for seven, hopefully just to find an energy. There's a metal, ooh, some other stuff as well. So metal here. Bench Jirachi. Can't think of anything else to do besides just sword. So let's go ahead and listen with that sword. Gonna get the energy attachment here. This hand, ooh, this is getting pretty good. Uh, got the escape board for the Jirachi or the Fion. The Fion does stay in the active and they don't knock it out next turn, which is possible, unlikely. Uh, gonna look for that Guzman Hala off the Stellar Wish if we don't find it. Um, Sycamore, look for the uh, Aurora energy, hit him with that. Altered Creation GX attack. Hopefully we get the Guzman Hala though. I'm hoping for the Guzman Hala here because I do want to get that Giant Charm as well for our ADP. Make him a little bit beefier. Actually, the Giant Charm might be better on the Zation in this matchup because 280 is just really hard for Pikaram to hit early on. Uh, this guy can get there eventually, but uh, it does take him a while. Um, and if he's gonna get to 280, he can maybe just go ahead and do double E power and just get to that 310, so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we actually end up going for here. Our opponent gets the Viridian Force off the Guzman Hala. Bumps our Chaotic Swell. Yeah, this is a big Raichu and Raichu with that big charm. Definitely not going to be one-shotting that fool anytime soon. He's... That is a big, a big Raichu and Raichu for sure. Um, quick Ball. Going to get rid of the Dedene. We don't want Dedene out there right now like this. Going to go ahead and grab ourselves the Orangaroo. Going to bench the Orangaroo. Gonna go ahead and throw the escape board on the Fion. Quick ball again, get rid of this Jirachi. Let's check here. Second stamp is prized. Makes me want to kind of throw the stamp back, but I really need to draw it into Aurora Energy. I actually could have thrown to Dene on top. I probably should have done that. Absol doesn't seem very good against our opponent's current build. Um, so I think I'm just gonna not take any. I could take the second Zation actually. Yeah, let's go with the second Zation. Saving the stamp uh, seems okay, but I'm not gonna go for it. I really want to draw into this Aurora energy here. There it is. I don't think Tag Call finds me anything. No, it can find me two Guzman Hala, actually. I was like, I think I'm out of everything. No, not even close. Guzman Hala for days. All right, um, Aurora energy. Discard one of the Guzman Halas. Metal Saucer. I want to do this station. Split up the energy a little bit. Um, I think I might force this guy into the active so he can't paralyze me. Um, so I'm gonna start with this though. Wisdom, put the Cynthia on top. If they do Marnie me. Um, I would want access to a supporter for the turn, skateboard, retreat, and then yeah, whirlpool, suction, force the right to the active now, so that way I don't get tandem shocked next turn, and then altered creation, there we go, pretty clean at turn one, at turn two combo there, and yeah, we're looking, it's looking really good for us here, got the bunch of energy to work with, already there's three energy in play on our stations, 
Uh, we're set up to ultimate right next turn. And all we have to do is KO this Raichu and Raichu and then KO this Zapdos. And then that's it. The game is over. Um, some other stuff is probably going to happen that'll mm, change stuff around a little bit. There's a dead change from our opponent. Yeah, they're playing the slower build, the tag call build of the Pikaram. As you see, the Malolana, the Volkners. Um, they will be able to hit us with that Lightning Ride if they want to. Doesn't do a whole ton for them. Yeah, we'll see which route they go with here. Because this guy's kind of stuck in the active right now, which is not great for our opponent. Him being here in the active is just... It's not great. <laughs> Definitely just not great. They could get like a switch, uh, switch, switch combo going here though. Get him to the bench, get him to the active. That would work out pretty well for them. Uh, but yeah, our hand is like crazy good. Only thing we're missing here to like get things moving here is a switch. We have three switch lefts in the deck. Only 23 cards left in the deck. We can uh, put the saucer on top, then sycamore away this metal so then we can saucer the energy. As long as we get a switch, we go to the Jirachi. It's crazy. Looking crazy good for us here. Yeah, we'll see if they have another switch card here. Move the Drachi back to the bench, and then they're definitely going to try and tandem shock us here. That is definitely their game plan here. It's to pull off a tandem shock. That is a custom catcher. That will not lead to tandem shock. We'll see if that's it then. If they can't move this Jirachi, they're in big trouble. They are in big trouble if this Jirachi does not move. Because then we can actually just go KO to the Chaos Zapdos and ignore this Raichu and Raichu. Um, which is definitely going to be our game plan now. We're going to go attach here. Play this Cynthia. 5-6. They do play Jirachi, so now I think we do want Absol in play. I'm going to Quick Ball away Jirachi, just thin out the deck as much as possible. Stamp is definitely something that could uh, be relevant here. Go ahead and put the Fion on the deck, on top of the deck. And then Ultimate Ray. Knock out this Jirachi, draw two prize cards. Or I guess we could just hit two-shot the, the Raichu and Raichu, actually. Probably the better game plan to go with. I'm going to go ahead and throw this here. Just get one setup ready to go. Yeah, I don't see a reason to split it up two and two. Just get this guy ready to go. Make sure he can be attacking as soon as possible. Got switches to deal with the paralysis from the Raichu and Raichu. I guess he could go after... Nah, it's, it's fine. Maybe we should have split it up two and two. We had what? Two Metal Saucer left, and we had an Energy in hand to work with. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, energy to the Dedenne. Make sure they can move the Dedenne. Um... Yeah, there's that double custom. I probably should have split it up two and two. I'm already regretting my choices. Not the worst thing ever, but I think it would have been a little bit better if we had split it up two and two, like I was talking about. Now we have to decide if we want to try and punch through this Raichu, because the one thing they can do is they can Mallow and Lana. It's got 290, so if we hit it for 180, um, it would heal potentially heal 120 of it, um, have 60 left, and then... We then the Zacian still wouldn't be able to knock it out, I don't think, or would it just be able to knock it out? All right, they have 60 on it, 230, 250. Yeah, I guess we would still be able to knock, we'd just be able to knock it out with the Zacian. Uh, but we have to bring it back into the active. So I might just play around the Raichu and Raichu. I might just like uh, go for a catcher around it and then look to use Fion around it and just not ever knock, not ever deal with this thing. Just never deal with the Raichu and Raichu. Just let it sit there doing its thing. Uh, but we could just hit it twice as well. We could just hit the Raichu and Raichu twice. That would also be fine. Especially because I don't think they can one-shot this guy. I don't even... Actually, are they even going to one-shot this? They might not. But actually, with our current hand, it doesn't matter because we can't punish them for not one-shotting our active. They're going to paralyze us, trap us here, it looks like. Um, yeah, it looks like they're just going to Tandem Shock. And then just hope we don't have a switch. We don't have a switch currently. Um, we have a lot of outs to a switch off our top deck plus the Oranguru. That's a good start. Um... Throw this here, I think. I actually don't even know if it's better in one place than the other. Throw this here. I definitely want to save one of these gust effects. Well, you know what they say. That's a lot of gust effects. Um, do I just want to play around the... I think I want to play around the Raichu and Raichu now at this point. Give me the... Yeah, give me that Coco Prism. I'll take it. Give me a switch here. Oh, gosh, no switch. That is pretty unlucky, I feel like. We had three left in the deck. Um, Trepid Sword. No switch still. <laughs> They're in there. They are in there. All right, all right. By no means are we out of this game, or has this game gotten too far gone? They haven't even drawn a prize card yet, and we still just only have to take two knockouts or two shot this Alolan Raichu and Raichu to win the game. So we are still in a very good spot to, to take this one. We just kind of need to... Yeah, keep playing through it. We'll be all right. Um, I did not see what they grabbed there. I think it was a switch and a lightning. Well, they definitely got a lightning because it's a Volkner. I think it was also a switch, but I actually can't. I don't know for sure. Uh, they don't have Zerora in play, and we do have Absol, though. So 
so this does make it awkward for them to actually move their Pokemon around. Um, they have to like, fully rely on Switch to move their stuff around. They are running out of Switch as well. There's the attach to the Raichu and Raichu. So they're setting up for a big hit with this guy. Big hit with that big boy. There's the Switch. Move the Coco to the bench. There's a reset stamp. It's fine with me. My hand wasn't that ridiculously good. Anyways, we'll be all right. This hand is definitely worse though. So we definitely want more than what this hand is offering us. Do have the great catcher to force this thing back into the app active, which is important though. All right. Draw to the active. Draw for turn. Is a switch. Stellar wish. That is a Cynthia. Gonna take that. Gonna go Aurora energy. Oh, we don't need an Aurora energy. Metal patch. Giant charm. Cynthia on top of the deck just in case of Marnie. Uh, we could force something else into the active with the Fion. Huh. I think just because of reset stamp, we would rather just two shot this. Uh, they are down two reset stamp, but they might play the three. Yeah, I think we will bench Fion. Um, but then I will just go with the ultimate rain. We're just going to try and two shot this thing, I think. I'm just going to two shot the Raichu and Raichu. Gonna thin out this energy out of the deck. Put it on Jirachi, I guess, just in case they play their own Absol and they put that in play. Like, pop the Dance of the Ancients, put their own Absol in play, and so on. Um, it's looking pretty good. We're still looking pretty good. Maybe I should have chased off the bench. I don't know. I'm still kind of torn on that. Because uh, we could have Fion forced something up. And then either if they send up this, we knock it out with this. And then we look for a great catcher knock out the Dene to win the game. Um, I don't know. I think we're still in a fine spot. We'll see what they go with here. It's really hard for them to take the one shot here. Like I said, we have that great catcher. We can just bring this back into the active. We still have like two catchers left, I believe. Two Pokemon catchers, yeah. A lot of outs to Gust effects, even if they reset Sampa. So this thing just guarantees the knockout on the Raichu and Raichu. So it's still looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about it still. We'll see what they got. There's one onto a Zapdos. They can GX attack us here. They don't knock us out, though. They only hit us for that 250 damage. Even if they have one E-Power, that only gets up to 280. Our ADP has 310 HP right now with the big charm. Very big. Very hard for our opponents to deal with. We might be able to pull it off. Let's see here. Taking their time. There's a quick ball. I have to guess this is going to go for a Dedene. They're going to dig for that double E-Power here. As long as it's in the deck, it's worth digging for, I think. Well, it's going to be a Jirachi. Maybe their last Dedene is prized. Maybe they have it in hand and they're just thinning out the deck to, before they Dedene change as well. So we could still see Dedene come out of here out of the other two cards they had in their hand. Custom for one. So they're definitely... Uh, okay, then there's a Research. Get rid of two Jirachi. Yeah, they were just thinning out before they used the Research. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. All right. There's an E-Power. Ooh, did they get their double E-Power? They did get there. We do have the response with the Great Catcher, though. So they, even though they did get there, there it is. The 310, Raichu and Raichu with the Lightning Rijex. They go down to one prize card, which means they're pretty much set up to win the game on the next turn with any Gust Effect. But they are down three Customs. So actually, even if we had hit with this, they still might have not been able to win on their turn. But we do have the Great Catcher. So the game is over as soon as it gets to our turn. Bring up the Raichu and Raichu. Great Catcher it blow it up with the brave blade there we go great catcher bring up right you and right you and then brave brave blade for our last four prize cards here and that's going to do it for this video on the updated adp and zation build hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give the video a like and join the content be sure to subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section down below have a good day thanks for watching and peace